All right, Beak. What's going on here? Solomolo. Seven o'clock in the evening. Emails backed up like a broke dick dog. Okay. Last I heard, counterfeit looted was ready to go. I'm just going to go check it out because it's 7 p.m., 7.03 p.m. here, and I'm tired as fuck. I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play anymore. All right, Beak, you can't be out no more. You've already done something. All right, Gordo, let's get you out here for a minute and see what you can do. I'm going to head to the MC Club real quickly and make sure my coke and meth is not full. Why is it... 10 o'clock in the evening, let's say 7, 8, okay, 8 o'clock in the evening. <clears throat> Excuse moi. Anyway, um, I was just, actually just marinating, you know, screaming. I just came back on, to, I was going to shut it off, but then I thought, let me just try one more damn mission. And uh, again, if it comes out to be a ka ka poo poo run, I'm just not going to go wait around for it. I'll finish it tomorrow. Because I don't really feel like having fun with this. What I will probably do is, let's say they throw mail trucks at me on the first shot, I'll put a respawn in for the same spot. So that when I do come back in, I should remember where I was. But first, let's see what we got. Now, they gave me a truck for the 420 cocaine run, so they're not going to do that love for me again. I've been getting nothing but crappy-ass jobs for a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's see what kind of stuff I can get myself out of today. But up, ho, baby? Look who it was, because I'm out of here. Is that a girdle I'm wearing? Do I have midriff bulge? Okay, I, what are the eyes? Alien eyes? I gotta remember. Okay. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put some supplies here and then go and sell some counterfeit lootage. I like this top the best. It's kind of like unique. Like he got patches of all his uh, baby baby pajamas and quilts up in here. Later, ho. All right. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me. I was playing with my little RC vehicle today. This one. You know, it's just a toy. It's like the jetpack. It's no, well, the jetpack has rockets to it. Um, what can I liken it to? I mean, it has proximity mines, but I don't like the freaking EMP mines. I'm gonna have to go with the kinetic again, and that's like the 112,000. I spent 120 freaking grand for the kinetic, but I mean for the EMP. But it just slows them fucking down. I mean, fuck. And I wish they'd have given us a bigger variety of freaking uh, bombs because I would have probably... No, nah, I wouldn't have done the slick mine for that because that little shit floating around would have been kind of unmanageable. But anything's better than the freaking two choices they got, man. Anyway. Or even, why don't... You know, none of them have the regular blow-up freaking mines, man. I think they have white lights. But, uh, you know, the ones that come out of the uh, weaponized DMV and the uh, freaking uh, insurgent pickup, yada, yada, yada. What up, home slice? Uh, anyway, my motto, keep it full, keep it rolling so you can keep the money coming in. You feel me screaming? That's the only way you're going to make money. Keep the labs happy. And... The employees employed, you know what I'm screaming? 
Alrighty, we're going to the counterfeit lab and try to put some lootage together. What time is it now? Oh fuck, I didn't want to do that shit, man. Piece of shit. Alright, I hate doing that shit. Uh, quick hits on the button. Dude, I don't want to play your game. Besides, it won't load other people in here anyway because I have the solo molo mode set. Come on, man. Damn. It's a bunch of shit. It really takes this long. Come on, there's nobody that's going to join me, so don't even put me... Oh, fuck me. Don't let me... Loading, loading, quit. Where's quit at? I'm trying to quit, bitch. Oh, don't leave me here, man. Put me back where I was. Thank you. Fuck. No, where was I? You know, there's some sort of glitch you can do where you start a mission and come back out or some shit. <clears throat> I was looking, they still doing glitches, car, car copying. I don't want to fucking get busted by Rockstar and take all my freaking hard earned work of selling and buying and saving and selling and reselling and rebuying to throw me out because I wanted to get, get 400 Deluxos in my garage. Well, he was using the uh, uh, X80 Pro to he like had a two floors worth of them and he showed you how to do it. It's like, um, I don't know how the fuck it is. I'm just not doing this shit, isn't it? All right, let's get her done, baby. Come on now. Wasted half my video fucking around. All right, let's get in here. What's up, homie? What you got for me? Don't make me fucking deny this mission, please. And don't give me dodo birds. Damn it! I told you how I was gonna do it, right? Oh man, maybe I'll just try it anyway. Oh shit. Yeah, I think I'll just try it again, see if I can get something out of this shit. Man, mail trucks. Definitely not, not going to go for three strikes. I'm not a baseball player. If I don't get it right now, this second strike, I'm done with it. I'm going to just come back tomorrow. and I'm going to leave the uh, spawn spot here, but I'll just come back tomorrow and fix it. Finish it. Um, I actually have a little man sitting next to me watching the game. That's not me speaking. I don't have a high voice. That sounds like a small, short guy. No? No. It's not you? No, it's not me. Uh, Come on now. Really? <coughs> oh, that was a coffee burp. That wasn't even a Mountain Dew burp. That was nasty, man. You know, coffee beans coming out the nostrils and shit. That was nasty. But I did say excuse me, so that made it smell like roses. Come on now. Come on, I just want to load in so you could see it solo. I know you know it's solo because I'm always solo. But you could see my spot. I'll try it again. And then if they give me two pieces of shit of a freaking delivery system. Then you'll watch me whine and cry. Come on, dude. I know you're loading. <clears throat> All right. This is Bob. This is definitely caca poo poo. Come on now. All right. That's five minutes worth of bullshit and five minutes worth of bullshit. So that's ten minutes worth of time we'll never replace. Come on now. So. Come on, dude. Really? 
Did I ever tell you that time I worked for the uh, ambulance company and I was an ambulance driver? EMT, they used to call them back in the day, but now you're an ambulance driver because that's what the freaking Uber people are, ambulance drivers. But anyway, yeah, I was an ambulance driver and they called me into the spot where this big old fat lady had cut her toe and I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? And she goes, I got to go to the hospital. And I said, well, I can't crowd your ass to the hospital. You know, I just put a bandaid on the motherfucker. Let's call it a day. And she's like, no, no, I'm a taxpayer. I want to go to the hospital. I said, well, I can't even get your little fat ass out the door. How am I supposed to do that? So she says, you know, all you got to do is like open up the door and, and no, 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 bitch. You're like twice the size of the damn door frame. There's no way you're going to get out. Can I just put a bandaid on it? And she's like, no, I'm a taxpayer. I'm a taxpayer. And I said, shit, damn it. So I says, all right. So I got a wheelbarrow and shit, you know, and called a couple of neighbors over and I pushed the bitch through the window. I mean, because she had a big ass window. So I pushed her through the window and then I had to go dig her out dig her out the damn bushes so I dug her out the bushes and brought her to the hospital she didn't have a cut on her toe anymore she was all fucked up because it was a rose bush but needless to say she got to the fucking hospital and started complaining I'm a taxpayer I say you bitch you said that when you was home and shit I don't see no taxes in this motherfucker being paid but so they kicked me out of being an ambulance driver so I don't do that shit no more man 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 so this is what happens, you know, you go in, you try to go to sorry mode, you go to story mode, and then you kick back the fuck out. Bye. Thank God that's over for another day. You know, he ain't got shit. He only got two guns, or one gun. I should go rob somebody, but I'm not. Kiki. All right, we're done with this, because they're not going to make it last. I mean, they're going to make it, uh, drag it along. Well, fuck it. It's a short video. It's only 15 minutes. <sighs> Did I ever tell you that time I was working as a, uh, oh, God, what was I doing back in the day? All right, you know the guy that puts the mask on the people to put them to sleep and shit, you know? The anesthesiologist, because, you know, I didn't, I didn't last that long because I couldn't spell the damn word. But I was an anesthesiologist for a little while, and they was telling me, okay, you know, put the person under. And I'm like, you know, that's a big fat bitch. How am I supposed to put her under? You know, I'm usually dealing with people like 150 pounds. And this bitch was like 400 pounds, so I'm trying to figure out, well, how much gas do I put in this bag? You know what I'm saying? So I turned them over like, on full blast, and I said, this shit's got to work and shit, you know. So she started to get bigger. She was like puffing up like a goddamn basketball and shit. You know, well, she was already the size of a beach ball, but let's just not go there. So she's puffing up, and the doctor's like, you know, pointing towards the damn uh, uh, gas thing, and she, he's like pointing because he got that mask on, so he can't speak. But he's like, and I'm like waving at him. How you doing, dude? Hey, what's up? All of a sudden, boom, bam! The bitch blew up. Now, um, I'm gonna tell you what that place looked like when uh, before the cleaning people came in that was a wreck you know what 400 pounds worth of blubber looks like in the damn operating room we fucked up but anyway i uh i got fired that day and then became a policeman it's another story though okay come on video really really all right Maybe we'll go into the policeman thing. I was a cop for like 30 years, a policeman. Matter of fact, I made it up to lieutenant. But uh, in the meantime, I was in the ghetto, you know. And uh, I remember there was a call at this lady's house, and she says, you know, uh, somebody's robbing me. And I says, well, who's robbing you? And she says, these two black people. And I says, can you ask their names? Because I knew a lot of people that robbed, you know. I didn't want to go up there and fuck with anybody I knew. So she goes, it's like Robert Jones and Billy Brown. And I'm like, oh, oh, do me a favor. Can you give the phone to Billy? And so she goes, hey, Billy, here, take the phone. So, you know, I get on the phone. I say, yo, Billy, what the fuck you doing? And she says, I'm just robbing this old bitch. And I says, well, why are you robbing? Dude, now I got to come out there and arrest you and shit. Look, what are, you, what are you robbing her for? I need me some crack money. I said, well, just, just meet me over there by Taco Bell and I'll give you five bucks, man. He's all right. So I gave the phone back to the old lady, and I said, look, they're going to leave you alone. Just don't say nothing and shit, you know. So I met him at Taco Bell and shot his ass. I'm tired of motherfuckers, like, fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I kept my $5. All right, are we going to make it finally? Now. It ain't loading anymore. Oh, here we go. Finally. Fuck me. 
I should still be uh, 